I'd like to thank you, Chairperson, for inviting me together with our host, the Vice Chancellor, to speak tonight on a national development plan with particular focus on issues that have to deal with the economy in the plan. When President Zuma decided to appoint the National Commission in May 2010, he was motivated by a great and deep desire to have a plan for South Africa. He kept saying, we are one country which does not have a strategic plan, an overarching plan that unites everyone. He appointed a commission and asked the commission to take a critical cross-cutting and long-term perspective on the challenges that confront our country. He invited the commission to develop a plan for the country that would serve as a vision and also a coherent program to overcome the key challenges that confront us. The key challenges really being inequality, which we have inherited from our past, our legacy, poverty, which also has its roots in our past, and unemployment. If we are to overcome poverty and inequality, and also to create jobs, then solving our economic challenges has to be at the heart of our objectives as a people and as a country. So we have choices, and some of them are difficult choices, and we have to have trade-offs. And it isn't easy, and it was never going to be easy. Inequality in South Africa is a product of our apartheid legacy, but it is exacerbated by a global phenomenon where the returns to skilled labor are rising faster than the returns to unskilled labor. When President Zuma put in train the process to develop a long-term plan, one of his key objectives was to get all South Africans to take a longer-term perspective to resolve our challenges. This is true for policymakers as well as for businesses and trade unions and everyone who lives here. Faster growth requires a stable environment, policy certainty, forward thinking to resolve our energy, water, transport and food security constraints. A long-term plan is essential. Simultaneously, to overcome the spatial divides that exclude millions of our people from economic activity, we need a sound municipal planning framework that is implemented consistently over a long period.